Hello and good morning everyone. So now we will be talking about the, we are on step 1, 2021 microbiological section, revising the micro, um, bacteriology where we are on page 146. Previously we have discussed about this uh, Vibrio cholerae and Helicobacter pylori. Now we will move forward to our spirochids and that is the important uh, because this organism spirochids include three species that is the Leptospira, Trypanoma and Borrelia and they are actually a very important because this all diseases are very prevalent in the United States of America and all over the world. So welcome again, I am Dr. Ranjit Sa, an infectious disease expert and clinical research from the Harvard Medical School. So we will be continuing through our textbooks, let us move on. So this is the, we are talking about the spirochid, the spirochid are the name from name we can understand they are the spiral shaped bacteria. So with this are the shape, if you remember the shape of this bacteria, you can see over here this bacteria is spiral in shape. So we need to understand this have spiral shaped bacteria with axial filament that makes them important. So they are the, the shape wise spiral with axial fil filament. They have three species mainly that is the Leptospira, Treponoma and Borrelia which can be remembered by a formula little twirling bacteria. So twisting bacteria you can remember. So what are the twisting little twisting bacteria that is the Leptospira, Treponoma and Borrelia. So these three species are the small but spiral bacteria, twisting bacteria. Only Borrelia can be visualized using aniline dye that is the right origin size stain. So if you want to stain, if you want to see through the light microscope, light microscope is we usually found in all laboratories in every part corner of the world. But the special microscope like dark field or electron microscope and phase contrast microscope, these are not are limited only to the few centers. So if you want to identify this Borrelia, if we can isolate this organism and can stain with this aniline dye that is right Gimsai stain, then we can see in the light microscope. But the organism of Triponoma, organism of Leptospira, they cannot be visualized in the light microscope. So only Borrelia can be visualized using aniline dye that is Gimsai stain in the light microscope due to size. Triponoma is visualized not in the light microscope but in the dark field microscopic or direct fluorescence antibody microscopic. So we can detect this trypanoma which is trypanopallidium causing the syphilis one of the prevalent diseases all over the world. They can actually not be seen in the light microscope, they can seen in the dark field microscope or say fluorescence antibody microscope or fluorescence microscope where we tie with, tie with the way where we put antibody tag with this fluorescence dye and when attached with the trypanopallidium then they form a complex and that can be after washing that will not be washed away and on through the microscope through the fluorescence microscope now we can detect the fluorescence light meaning that antibody is there antibody why was present because there was antigen what was the antigen trypanopallidium so we can detect the whole complex through the fluorescence microscope and this is the basic principle of any fluorescence microscope okay so moving forward now to that this Lyme disease that is caused by the, this Borrelia species that is the Borrelia brugdoferi. So Lyme disease is actually caused by Borrelia brugdoferi which is transmitted by the tick. So this disease is caused by bacteria but it requires a vector and the vector is Iduos deer tick. So this Iduos deer tick has also the responsible for the vector. They act as a vector for other diseases as well like other bacteria like Anaplasma species and Protozoa babesia. So this idos deertic can cause can carry the bacteria brula, Borrelia brugdoferi. They can carry, can carry anaplasma species. They can also can carry this protozoa Pepsia. So this bug, this vector can cause you a three type of disease, bringing three type of different bacteria or say pathogen in your body. Their natural reserve body is the mouse, deer are the essential for tick life cycle but do not harbor Borrelia. Borrelia is actually not present in the deer but they are, this deer can, is essential for the presence. The life cycle of this uh, vector that is the Iodis deer tick is necessary for de deer is necessary to complete their life cycle. But Borrelia is not present in deer, it is present in that tick in there that is Iodis deer tick. Commonly seen in the northern United States, so you have to remember any person that is coming from northern United States and having this typically bull eye appearance which is a characteristic lesion of the skin uh, seeing and then they are, they are talking about this uh, stress, different stress then you have to understood they are talking about Borrelia brugdoferi that is the Lyme disease. Commonly in the United States, so 
northern 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 northeastern united state that you have to understand that has the three stages actually pro the disease that is produced by it that is called the stage one where is the early localized lesion is called erythema migraines so you can see in the skin there is a reddish structure that is migrating so once the tick is biting they will develop the central ne central uh, necrosis of the central uh, erythema and that will again spread out and there will be the clearing of zone and then there will again a zone of erythema so this appears as a bull eye appearance so due to this bull eye appearance they are typical called bull eye configuration this is erythema migraines this reddish part has been migrated so known as the erythema migraines is a pathogenic but not always present that you have to understand in 60 to 80 percent only in acute cases you can see this characteristic characteristic lesion but if they are talking if they are going to ask you this about this disease in us MLE or any part of the world any entrance exam then they will provide you this picture to make you understand that you know lyme disease has this erythema migraines and this is the characteristic lesion of this if you see this in any patient then it is one of the confirmatory diagnosis you can say you can do further tests for confirmation but it is almost leading to borrelia burgdorferi that is lyme disease and a patient with have erythema migraines that is migratory erythema lesion that is having the central clearing and appears as the bull eye configuration it is pathognomonic but not always present associated also full flu like symptom in the initial stage first stage then they disseminate early dissemination secondary lesion occurs in the carditis in your heart they leads to the ev block facial nerve palsy and migratory myalgia transient arthritis so in the second stage they will develop this lesion let me show you the lesion actually so if you talk about the lesion you can see over here in the second stage the first stage you can see this bull eye rash this is the characteristic lesion this is the erythema migraines then they will develop this facial palsy they can affect your uh, solid knee they can affect your joint okay so these are the point where they can actually affect they can affect the heart so you, in the second stage we have to understand they are talking about the carditis av block facial nerve palsy migratory myalgia and transient arthritis if you not cured if you not get treatment if you not get diagnosed then is it reached into the third stage that is the late disseminated stage where the patient develop encephalopathy chronic arthritis and peripheral neuropathy so this disease is a serious disease this is going to cause you a lot of symptoms and a lot of organ damages so this disease need to be diagnosed and it need to be treated they are very common in the northern eastern united states so a patient coming from the northeast region of the united states and having this characteristic uh, lesion on the skin erythema migraines and having other symptoms of carditis or av block or say joint problem or facial nerve problem then you have to understand they are talking about this lyme disease or borrelia burgdorferi a key lyme uh, uh, pie to the face we can remember by a formula or say in synonym as a face that is there will be the facial nerve palsy typically typically bilateral there will be the arthritis there will be the cardiac block and there will be erythema migraines this four point will be included inclu including they are coming from the northeast of the united states treatment they are can treatment can be given as a doxycycline first line treatment another drug of choice is the amoxicillin for the pregnant patient and children less than 8 years old if not treated we can even go to the septrigen so our drug treatment option are doxycycline if they are pregnant or children we can give this amoxicillin and if we are they are not curing if you are in the secondary or third stage then you can give iv septrigen for longer treatment as well longer duration as well let me go through the some of the pictures so make you clear about this this is the borrelia the genus of a bacteria of the spirochete phylum several species cause lyme disease also called a lyme borreliosis a zoonotic vector borne disease transmitted by the tick so it said iodis deer tick that you have to understand other species of but these are the only the vector the organism that that is responsible for the disease is bacteria and that is borrelia which is carried by this tick and this tick is name is iodis deer tick other species of borrelia causing relapsing finger which is transmitted by tick or lice depend on the species of the bacteria we are talking about this lyme disease you can see over here this lyme disease they have the three dissemination of this diff different distances uh, but when they spread through the blood stream they will affect your heart they will attract your brain that is central nervous system and they will affect your joint so three system is mainly affected heart nervous system and joint that you have to understand in initial stage they will form this 
uh, characteristic skin nissan this is known as the bull iras there is there is a central erythema reddish nature that will spread migrate and there is in central clearing and then will again round structure so this is the appearance if you see it looks like a bull eye so this is the bull eye rashes there will be a facial palsy there will be a swollen joint this is the bug bug that's the cause this these are the reservoir of this bug they will present in the uh, say mouse they can serve in the parrot they can serve in the lizard they can pop, they need the uh, deer for the com complete of life cycle and this is the borrelia burgdorferi bacteria okay now coming to the lyme disease again this is the characteristic feature you have to well, i am hammering again and again to understand this will be present in your exam this will be given over there there should be your uh, say uh, clue to reach to your diagnosis you can see this bacteria is a curved one spiral bacteria so how we can diagnose this and the diagnosis is the characteristic skin lesion and then we can do the ELISA test in a screening test we do the ELISA in ELISA if it is negative it is negative if it is positive then we confirm through the western blood if western blood is positive then only the disease can be said to be positive okay if western blood is negative then we give that as negative oh. so a screening test ELISA but for confirmatory we'll do the western blood this is similar to the HIV diagnosis in HIV we do a screening test with ELISA and then confirm with the western blood similar diagnostic test mechanism will be for Borrelia burgdorferi where we do the screening test with ELISA and then confirm it with the western blood so this is the you can see this iodis DRT is put pricing your skin and there are the lot of uh, pathogen issues going on they are they are damaging they are causing uh, immune invasion is there there is the chemotaxis there is a tissue colonization they are transmission to the uh, blood vessel to the different organs like heart and uh, uh, joints they are causing skin to your disease to your skin and you also know they affecting the nervous system so lyme disease is characterized by three stages initially a unique skin lesion that is called the erythema migraines which is known as the erythema chronicum migraines ecm with a general malaise ecm not uh, not seen in all infected holes ecm often described as a bull rash bull eye rash lesion periodically reoccur the subsequently stage seen in five to 15% of the patient with neurological or cardiac involvement, third stage involved migratic episode of non-destructive painful arthritis. So in acute illness, you see with this uh, characteristic lesion and we need to treat with the methyl penicillin or say tetracycline group that is doxycycline. This is again, we are talking about this erythema migrants. This is tick-borne disease, expanding you can see, expanding red patches with central clearing bull eye appearance. There is initial lesion, there is a erythematous lesion that again is expanding, expanding and there is central clearing and then again from a redis or erythema lesion this is the uh, skin criteria and diameter of 5 cm skin lesion occur in 60 to 80 percent of patient with the lyme disease that you have understood okay okay this is uh, caused by borrelia burgdorferi we understood now looking to the pathogenesis they can usually see the stick has bite and then they uh, spread to your uh, brain heart and then the joint this three feature is important and diagnosis is the RAS is important, then we do ELISA and Western blood for confirmation. In lumbar function, if CNS involvement is there, there will be find the lymphocytic pleocytosis. The treatment option are in early, we give doxycycline or amoxicillin. In early disseminated, we can give doxy amoxicillin for around a double dose, that is a double duration, 28 days. In late stage, we give IV septraxone or cefotaxin or penicillin for 21 days if for neurological involvement. So we have actually now able to understand that Lyme disease is easy to diagnose. We can easily pick up. That is important. And the important thing is that they have all, they have the different stages of the disease. In early stage, there will be skin lesion. In the second stage, there will be involvement of your heart causing carditis and AV block. Then there will be involvement of the joint. Then can cause you the facial palsy. And in the late stage, we can see there will be the neurological complication as well, where disseminated encephalopathy, chronic arthritis, and peripheral neuropathy. We can diagnose easily by in a VNAC, we'll have facial nerve palsy, arthritis, cardiac block, and this characteristics bull eye appearance, there is thema, migraines. We know the information that it is caused by a bacteria is tra that transport the bacteria is Borrelia burgdorferi, and the bacteria is Iodis diuretic. That we have to understand. Let's come back to the this Kaplan book where we'll uh, talk about little revise this Borrelia species. So Borrelia, these are the largest spirochetes. So we can see on the light microscope by staining with the gypsum stain, stain, they are gram-negative, macroaerophilic, and difficult to culture. So it is very difficult to culture this organism. So we prefer clinically the clinical skin lesion. Along with that, we go for the ELISA and Western blood.
that is serological test. Bar Borrelia burgdorferi reservoir, we know this white footed mice and white tailed deer that is the present. Transmission is through Iodis deer tick and nymphs in worldwide but main three areas in the US that is the northeast region. Iodis scapularis in the northeast and Iodis pacific on the west coast that is California late spring early summer incidence. So you have to understand they are talking about northeast the Connecuting and Midwest that is Wisicon and Minnesota or Iodis peak on the west coast is California. So these are the places where the people come from and they develop this Lyme diseases. Pathogenesis is Borrelia burgdorferi invades the skin and spread where the blood is spread to my primarily the heart, joint and CNS. Arthritis caused by the immune complex. Disease is Lyme disease. This is a vector borne disease in the US. Early stage there is a target rash which is called the bull eye appearance and there is a flu like symptom. In early dissemination organ spread hematogenesis, swollen lymph node, secondary annular skin lesion, bell palsy, headache, meningitis, extreme fatigue, conjunctivitis, palpitation, arrhythmia, myocarditis and pericarditis and in the late stage we can go for the arthritis due to immune complex mediated. The key vineyak is patient with influenza like symptom, erythroma, skin lesion that target skin rash, spring or summer season, northeast, midwest and west coast late complication is neurological, cardiac and arthritis. Diagnosis, we can diagnose by ELISA. ELISA will be our screening test, confirmation by western blood, treatment option will remain doxycycline, amoxicillin, azithromycin and clarithromycin for primary, ceftriaxone for secondary, doxycycline and ceftriaxone for arthritis. How can we prevent this? This prevented by the DEET, avoid ticks bite, vaccine that is OASPA felicillar antigen not being used in US. So there are say experimental vaccine, there is no well developed vaccine. So the best way is to get prevent you from getting the bite of the ticks. And if you have caught the disease, you need to diagnose it and treat properly. So you can cure fast and you do not develop the other neurological complication. Thank you.